I probably shouldn't enjoy running. I probably should even hate it. It's tough, it's exhausting, it's lonely, it can even be painful. But all of those reasons are why I love it. Hi everyone, Knupsi here. One of the things I've been doing for exercise during quarantine is running. I go out pretty much every other day, physically distance, as well as run in less busier areas of the city. And I really do enjoy running. But this video isn't about my love for running as a sport, but more so about the stuff I bring with me on every single run. My tech everyday carry, running edition. So first, let's talk shoes. The shoes I've been running with are the Nike Zumex Vaporfly Next Percent. And these are actually quite controversial shoes. Some experts have stated that these shoes are technological doping and give an unfair advantage to professional runners over runners that don't have these shoes. However, this controversy did end pretty quickly when the shoes were legally allowed to be used in competition and for Nike functioned as an accidental marketing opportunity. Good for them. The shoes have a crazy amount of foam in the midsole, as well as an embedded carbon fiber plate. And both of these things together save you energy and makes you more efficient when running and literally boosts you forward. I've worn them for quite a few runs and the upper and midsole is pretty much flawless. Most of the bottom sole is pretty great as well with only a few areas of wear here and there. The best way to explain these shoes is like a trampoline. Every time you take a step, it kind of boosts you and jumps you forward. It's, it's a really incredible experience, one of the best pairs of running shoes you can buy, but they're also one of the most expensive pairs of running shoes you can buy as well. But if you take running seriously, they are quite a good investment. The earbuds I use on runs are the Jaybird Vistas, and I've used these on countless runs and they're easily my favorite pair of running earbuds by far. To be a great pair of running earbuds, they gotta do a few things really well. They gotta stay in, and they do. They gotta be comfortable, they definitely are. They gotta be water resistant, yeah, I've definitely sweated in these many, many runs. And they gotta sound great too, and they really do. The sound is pretty flat out of the box, but in my opinion, I really do like the overall sound signature. But if you wanna tweak it, the Jaybird app also lets you adjust basically everything. And there are also presets as well, so you can add more bass, increase the highs and the mids, do whatever you want, it's all fully adjustable. And the case is really small, light, and compact, so you can totally bring it with you on runs if you want to charge up your earbuds, but I'm usually home before the battery dies. The earbuds battery is 6 hours, so that's pretty good. The phone I bring with me on runs for tracking and listening to music is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And on the back of the phone, there's a light blue pastel skin from our channel sponsor Dbrand. It matches my shoes, looks great. Link in the description. Now I know, this phone is stupid big and heavy, but when I put it in an armband, it basically stays out of the way and doesn't bother me on runs. I got this cheap armband from Amazon, it's from a brand called JE Tech, and when I stick it on my arm, it basically keeps my phone locked in place there and stays out of the way. It's a bit weird to actually put on your arm at first, but you get used to the process quickly. It's quite affordable, but still great quality, and it's comfortable, and my phone doesn't really move or shake at all during runs. It just kind of stays there, stuck to my arm. I also wear the Apple Watch Series 4 Nike Edition, which gives me better control of changing music and provides additional tracking features like heart rate monitoring and other stuff. It's also just easier to actually glance at the watch and having to look at my phone to see how long I've been in a run and for how far I've actually run. And if I fall, which would never, never happen, I can call for help or emergency services using the fall detection thing on the watch. I've definitely mentioned Nike quite a bit in this video, and they're definitely not a sponsor. They would never sponsor my videos, and I'm also not even a fan of Nike products overall. They just know what they're doing when it comes to running, especially with the Nike Running Club app. It is incredible. It's an app that better helps you track runs, as well as my favorite feature, the guided runs. 
Basically a coach, usually Coach Bennett, will talk you through each run and encourage you to keep on moving forward. I don't know, there's just something really cool about having a coach in your ear telling you how to run better and in different conditions and different scenarios. The water bottle I use for runs is the Lark bottle. Now this is a stupid expensive water bottle for a few different reasons, one of them being the design, it's just very well built, looks beautiful, and also keeps your water cold or warm. But the biggest reason for the cost is the UV light built into the cap. It turns on every few hours and burns away the bacteria and germs in your water bottle, or so it says, and prevents your water bottle from smelling like other metal bottles. I'm looking at you, Swell, but I gotta say, it does what it advertises, it still smells fresh, smells clean over a year later. I love this bottle. It was worth the investment, but I bought it at 50% off. So that's the stuff I bring with me on runs, and running really is a truly amazing thing. It's a good time to think and process things, it's a great way to stay healthy and active, and while it does definitely suck sometimes, it is a great sport to get to know and practice. Now while I really do love running, I'm definitely not an expert, so I wanted to bring somebody onto this video who is and can actually give you some good tips for running better. Hi everybody, my name is Harris Craycraft and my first tip is to invest in a nice, simple, lightweight running hat or some type of sweatband or headband. This will not only keep your sweat and hair out of your face and eyes on sunny days and sweaty days, but it'll also keep the sun out of your face as well as rain from getting onto your face. So I'm a big fan of running with hats or headbands. Secondly, find a water bottle that you really love. There's a whole bunch of different sizes, spouts, designs, colors. Staying hydrated is one of the most underrated and least emphasized parts of running and staying active. And finally, if you're looking for the perfect pair of running shoes for yourself, go to a quality running shoe store and they will help you find the right shoe for your foot. Go ahead and buy it from that location the first time, but every time after that, scour the internet and find the best deal to save a lot of money and still run with the best shoe for your foot. Thanks Harris. He makes some great tech videos, some great running related videos. He makes great content overall. Links to all of his stuff in the description down below. And that's it. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe, and thank you for watching.